Good morning, Algonquin. This is Mr. Messia. And Mr. Ga With your morning news. But first, here's the Pledge of Allegiance. Good morning, Algonquin. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday to you. For the first time ever, Mr. Gell and I are broadcasting to you from separate locations. I'm broadcasting from my home office. Mr. Gella? I'm in my kitchen right now. Very nice. Very nice. Hopefully having a, a nice cup of coffee. Well, we're going to <laughs> We're going to kick things off here today with a spotlight on visual literacy in the sixth grade. We've had some outstanding projects get turned in by Mr. McMurray here for our morning announcements. We want to make sure we showcase them. Pretty cool hand-done artwork here that has a, a co computer component as well. Gianna sent this one in. Nice job, Gianna. Alexa, very cool. Look at Roy's. Awesome. Shaden sent in this visual. Wow. Uh, Natalie with this beautiful bird. Brooke Davies sent in this flower. Juliana's got a great pup face there. All right, excellent. Uh, Caden, there you go. Hunter, right there, cowboy. Nice job. Excellent work, everybody. Nice work. Wow, we have some very talented artists. That's pretty incredible. And uh, some pretty cool, cool, cool stuff we're doing at home out there. For sure. Well, it's time for What You're Reading. And this time, we're checking in with Miss LaChapelle. Looks like she's been reading a lot based on the picture we got there. For sure. All right. So Miss LaChapelle is reading On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. She says it's an engrossing book. It's about the world of hip hop and the story of fighting for your dreams. That's intriguing to me right there. Even when the odds are against you. This is from the author of The Hate You Give. The Hate You Give. There you go. And actually, that was a movie, too, so that's pretty cool. On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. 16-year-old Brie wants to be one of the greatest rappers of all time, or at least win her first battle. As the daughter of an underground hip-hop legend who died right before he hit it big, she's got massive shoes to fill. But it's hard to get your come up when you're labeled a hoodlum at school, your fridge is empty at home, and your mom loses her job. So Brie pours her anger and frustration into her first song, which goes viral for all the wrong reasons. Will she make it big? That's the question of this great book. If this sounds interesting, you check it out on your Chromebook or your phone using the free Sora app. No password needed. Just log in using your Google account. Any questions, ask Ms. Ekstrom. Well, the time is here. We're going to check in on our assignment, Algonquin. This one focusing in on our PE experiences, what everybody's doing to stay active and busy out there in real life while we're spending a lot of time on cyberspace as well. Here are some submissions. First one comes from the Cavada family. I think he's going to dunk. <laughs> oh, oh, left nice hand shot. Left. Nice shot. That was great. Cavada family out there playing some hoops in the backyard. Nice job, everybody. Also, some submissions from our students. Roy's out there riding his bike with his brother. Brooklyn says for PE, she's been walking the dog a lot and playing outside with her younger siblings. Excellent. Casey's been busy. She's been on the trampoline, uh, taking the dog, went for a jog every morning, doing yoga, uh, learned new dances, and uh, did 20-minute seat workout. Uh, and she played tag while babysitting. Some pretty good stuff on her PE log. Awesome. skylar has been out there in Google Classroom doing the PE workouts for 25 minutes or so, and then also going out for a morning jog. Here's our friend Ryan on the rowing machine. It's great to see Ryan up and moving again after her injury. Great job. Way to go, Ryan. Excellent. Leah, she's helping out around the house. Uh, been cleaning and organizing uh, for her parents, and that's how that has helped her stay active. Good stuff. Cool. Ava's been outside playing with her soccer net. And Eleanor uh, has been doing a lot of softball and walking the dog, running in the morning, which is fantastic, uh, and some workouts that the gym teachers posted. Good stuff. And some soccer, too. How about that? 
Nice. Madison's been out there playing volleyball, and so has Cynthia. Cynthia's also been playing some basketball and going on walks. And Lindsay has been taking her dog on many walks, too. So have the Gellas. Gellas have been taking their dog Fenway out for walks quite often. Very nice. Emily Osa says she's been playing basketball. She's also been doing soccer, setting up an obstacle course with her little sister. That's pretty cool. And walking up and down the road, pretty steep hill, and playing on the swing set. We got Jacob Hanlon out for a bike ride, and here's Cecilia and Rex. There he goes. Oh boy, is Rex coming back? <laughs> there he goes. Nice job. We got Vivian out for a hike, and here goes Alex with a nice swing. Here he goes, lining it up nicely. There he goes. Oh, oh, very good. Oh, man, he's better off the tee than me. Looks like a hole-in-one to me. Chase Rose is out there playing lacrosse. Nice job. Nice, Chase. Good job. Ooh. Aiden's been playing uh, some football, some pickleball, and walking his dog and playing basketball, too. Good stock, man. Parker has been out there doing those 30-minute walks and then also stacking wood an hour every other day. Way to go, Parker. And we've had some faculty submissions as well. Let's check in on Mr. Ladd. Oh, playing dodgeball. Holy cow. He took one right to the chest there. Him up. This. Oh, man. I got to see that again. Oh, right to the chest. <laughs> nice job. Crowd over there. <laughs> it's time for some shout outs, everybody. This shout out today goes out to Miss R and Miss E for their help in delivering meals on Monday. They did a great job getting out there and making sure that all of our Algonquin students in need are getting fed. Ms. McLeod and Ms. Michaud's classes have been meeting actively out there in cyberspace as well. Great job, everybody. We see Ms. Momro up there, too. Way to go. Ms. Hicks's classes have been meeting online, too. Great job, everybody. Excellent. The results are in from yesterday's Two Truths and a Lie. So you can see there, uh, we stopped the um, submissions at noon today, or yesterday, excuse me. Um, and it looks like it's pretty much a mathematical split for the three choices. So if you were to have guessed that I have spent my entire 16-year career teaching at Avril Park, if you guessed that as the lie, you are correct. I actually spent my, I've spent in Avril Park for the last 15 years. Uh, I spent my first year teaching in inner city Albany at a charter school. Very good. So, so Mr. Gall, I just want to be clear. You've been ice skating since you were two years old? Absolutely, since I was two. Boy, I don't know if I was walking by the age of two. You were out there skating. Nice job. And then you caught a 15-inch or 15-foot shark. I'm thinking 15 oh, inches. Uh, that was a 15-foot shark. 15-foot uh, shark. Wow. Absolutely. I had some help. I had some so help. You're not one of those guys that tells everybody about their fishing stories and they exaggerated with time, right? I mean, this was 20 years ago you're in Australia. It was really 15? Uh, it, it really was. It was as wide as the boat. So it was, Very nice. uh, it was quite the experience. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right. Today we're featuring you, Mr. Messia. Hey, how about that? Two truths and a lie. So let's see what he's got. Remember, uh, we're going to take a look at uh, three statements by Mr. Messia. You're going to check out our Google Classroom and identify which one you think is the lie. Here's the first one. I've never seen a Star Wars movie. Ladies and gentlemen, you think that is a truth or a lie from Mr. Messia? The next one is Mr. Messia says he's been to Disney five times. Truth or lie, folks? The final one. Mr. Messia claims he has never been to Kay's Pizza. Is that the truth or is that a lie? Just a reminder, check it out tomorrow at our Google Classroom to vote on which one you think is a lie. Voting ends at noon. And then tune in tomorrow for the answer. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. If it's your birthday, put your hands up. Hands up. If it's your birthday. Happy birthday goes out to Tyler and Maggie. Have a great day, guys. Enjoy it. Today's quote of the day from Miss Reinish was submitted by Mackenzie Diamond. She says that this is a quote that she enjoys. I never dreamed about success. I worked for it. That is actually a quote by Estee Lauder. Very nice. Nice job, Mackenzie. Next up, we have Tuesday's Tech Tip of the Week. This one's coming to us, of course, from Mr. Anderson. He sent this one out earlier in the week, but it's an important one. It's about how to make sure your Wi-Fi connection is strong and good at your home using your Chromebook. So let's Tune in and listen to Mr. A with his tech tip advice for all of us.
Hey everybody, Mr. Ray here with Tuesday's Tech Tip of the Week. Today we're going to be focusing on how to make your home Wi-Fi network your preferred network and you can auto-connect. So uh, when we were using these Chromebooks at school, they automatically connected to the APCSD network. And because of that, we couldn't set it so that you could just have it automatically connect at home. But now that we're going to be on home instruction, at least for the short term, uh, the network engineer has changed it such that you can do that. So it prevents uh, you from dropping the internet, which I know people have uh, contacted me about. And there's just a few steps. You click Wi-Fi, then settings. Then you uh, would log into your personal home Wi-Fi network. You toggle the preferred list network, and it, this will be in effect until we return to school. So let me show you some screenshots. So you click the settings tab. There's a number of ways to get there. You can uh, go to the little circle thing in the corner and then look for the cog wheel like this. It's also in the bottom right-hand corner if you click where the Wi-Fi symbol is. Then from there, we've got network. And then you go and you would log into and connect to your Wi-Fi using the password for your house. Then after that, you'll toggle over prefer this network and automatically connect to this network. And by doing that, it should save it and then automatically connect every time that you open, close, or sign back in. So that's how you can make your home Wi-Fi network your preferred network and auto-connect for Tuesday's Tech Tip of the Week. I'm Mr. Ray. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Ray. Oh, I forgot about the music. Caught me in a warrior. We have Nate Lemner and Mr. Hansen, both doing a great job working from home and helping. Mr. Hansen's helping support teachers and students, and Nate is doing a great job getting his work done. Congratulations, guys. Nice work. All right, everybody. Well, remember, school's not a place. Make it a great day, all you warriors out there. We'll see you next time. And that concludes this morning's announcements. Remember, start to finish, every day, we embody the warrior way.